Well, good morning. It's Wednesday morning. I had to stop the other day and working on an exhaust manifold, and now it's the weather is not cooperating for me to be welding outside. Uh, so I am going to go back to working on lining up the water manifold. If you remember when I dropped left off on this the last time, I had just snugged up these two and I had a little bit of a gap in there. But I've loosened them up again and just brought them down with my fingers. And my gap there seems to have gone away. But I have a gap on these two. So that means when I was pulling down on this one tighter and it was pulling away there. That one I had moved this way towards us to close that gap a little bit. Now I'm going to try and move these towards me or else move this one away from me. To, because now I'm running like 12 or 14 thousandths here I believe. Let's see. Oh more than that. I have probably 16 here. A little less there. So I'm just going to keep working them back and forth and just put it down with my fingers to try and get all the gaps as small as I can. First I'm going to try moving these two towards us. That closed it up a little bit because now the 11 is snug. Now I'm going to try moving this one back in the other direction. Oh no, that one I never did trip before I Move this one towards us. Now I'm going to try. This one is already touching here, and this one has the nut on it finger tight. So I'm going to try moving this one to see if it'll rotate that one, you know, rotate on that one a little bit and move this manifold closer to those two cylinders. <coughs> I'm going to loosen this. See, it's just barely snugged on. But I'm just putting them on with my fingers. I want to see how they all feel. Now the 11, the 11 won't fit in any of them. I'm going to go to a smaller one. Now I'm going to leave them loose and just push on it in the center with my hand. And I have a 4,000 feeler gauge. It won't. It'll go in on the rear one. Number three is snug. Number two shows some drag. And number one shows some drag. I'm holding it a little tighter now. So it's still just a little bit loose on one and four. I mean, I'm sure it'd be good right where it is, but. Try it again. Now, I believe they moved way too much. I'm going to come back on number two and three. Now I can't get the number four in on any of them. I'm just, for a heck of it, going to try with a thinner one. Go down to two thousands.
uh, I could just actually slide it in a little bit on all of them so you know there's how much imperfection there may be in those gasket surfaces I think I'm probably about as closer than I need to be and plenty close enough to plenty close enough to make me happy I'm gonna check it again with the four snug snug has a little bit of drag and a little bit of drag I'm gonna try snugging down the base bolts and then checking it again I just snug down the base nuts and I'm going to try it again. I have the four again, just holding it on with my hand. Good drag, tight. Adds a little bit of drag. And it has a little bit of drag so I'm gonna call that good I'm sure that is plenty plenty close so I can tighten the cylinders down now and in here I have to get my radiator hose that goes over to the water pump because it's just a straight hose probably 10 inches long it would be pretty difficult to work that in there once the manifold's bolted in place so i have to get a hose for that make gaskets and then i can put the manifold on permanently we all say permanently but we know how it goes until it's running and it ain't permanently uh, for sure but that'll be my next step tighten the cylinders down tight and then work on making gaskets and getting a hose for the water manifold so that's it for lining up the manifold and we'll see what else we work on yet today now to continue on with my water manifold uh, I would noticed something I can't believe I didn't see it before you can clearly see that this manifold was broken two pieces at one time and was brazed together here it looks like they did a real nice repair there you can see the brass color, so it was brazed. So now I'm going to go at the next step of making gaskets. And I'm going to use this surface here for marking them because it's got the most distinct edges on it. My gasket material of choice is going to be shredded wheat box. I want something a little thicker to be a little more forgiving. You can see these gasket surface, surfaces aren't near so clean. Or so they're pitted quite a bit, but it'll be fine for just a water manifold. So as usual, I'll mark the gasket. Oh, it's sharp enough it might cut it off. Oh, 
I'll finish with the scissors. I'll mark the hole in the center. And mark the two bolt holes. Punch the holes, bolt holes. Start the center hole. Voila, we have a gasket. All I have to do is do it three more times and I'll have my gaskets. And just like that I have four gaskets. So now I have to get I have to go get a radiator hose from town yet for on here before I can put it on. So that might be it for this video. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. And let me know what you think. A little added bonus here. I was cleaning up the original clamps for that hose that go on the water pump. And uh, look at this. Those clamps, both of them, have been cut and welded back together neatly. So the only thing I can surmise is they had clamps that were a little too big and cut them and welded them back together. And as you can see, they did a really nice job because I am reusing these clamps. Uh, so just like the water manifold being brazed back together and these being cut and welded, everything tells a little bit of the story about this crawler. Not the other one so much, but this one you can see the radius isn't perfect, as if they reshaped it some. So as I say, everything tells a story. And also, to confirm my theory that these were cut out and made smaller, you can see the way they were made, they were punched, and the part that gets punched out of here gets bent around to form, to support the and clamp the hose here. And I measured the distance from here to here and it's slightly longer by about a quarter of an inch than from here to here where it was punched out of. So that confirms that this was cut apart to be made smaller to make the clamp the right size. Just interesting what they would go through years ago instead of just going and buying a new part.